Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the technology channel, and I have a piece of technology here to review. This may not look very high-tech. It's a microwave, and generally you take them for granted. They sit in the corner of the kitchen for years on end, and you punch a couple buttons to heat up your frozen food or make your incredibly smelly popcorn. But um, our microwave died. We had had it 14 years, which is pretty good for a microwave, I think. Uh, it was a Samsung, and it really did last. Um, in its day, it was a fairly large one, fairly powerful at about, I think, I think it was 1100 watts power. So we had to go buy a new microwave, and um, I thought surely in 14 years there must have been some advancement in the technology. So um, my wife's criteria for the new microwave is that it be about the same size as our old one, and white to match the kitchen. So I got to do all the other research and looking into what kind of microwave we wanted to get and what technology advancements we could take advantage of. So, did a whole lot of that, and also something affordable, which is around $150 is about the highest we want it to go. So, this is what we decided on. This is a Panasonic mid-size, mid-power microwave um, that has what's called inverter technology. And what the, basically what the inverter technology does is it allows the microwave to actually cook at various power levels and to really cook at those power levels. Traditionally, microwaves have faked it. If you set it for five minutes at power level five, what the microwave would do is it would come on at full power for, say, 10 seconds, and then you would hear the tone of the microwave change, and maybe your lights in your kitchen would get a little bit brighter. And then it was basically rotating the food with no cooking going on at all, no energy being added, the magnetron was off, it was just sitting there rotating it for 10 seconds. Then it would come for another 10 seconds of full power, and then they would go to 10 seconds of no power. So it, that created a lot of problems in, in heating foods up and cooking foods, and of course the issue with microwave ovens is um, in defrost mode, basically cooking, even browning the outside of the food while the center is still frozen. So there wasn't true low level cooking with a microwave or low energy cooking. It was basically high and nothing and the average of that is what you got for what number of power you pushed in. Well, they've solved that with this inverter technology. They use what's called pulse wave modulation and it allows them to control the amount of microwave energy. And this has actually been out for a few years and bounced around some between companies, but Panasonic decided to throw themselves behind it. and. Um, they developed the, the parts and the pieces necessary to make it affordable and to make it reliable. And um, so they've licensed that out to GE. So GE also offers something like, similar to this. But the other companies pretty much don't um, because Panasonic hasn't licensed it to them. So this is a, mainly a, a Panasonic technology. And the older reviews had mentioned some reliability issues as they were working the kinks out of developing this. But um, it now has the good housekeeping seal of approval, which matters because it doubles the warranty from one year to two years. And so it's a sign of um, an external testing agency seeing that it is reliable and it isn't something that's going to break right away. And it's also Panasonic standing behind it and um, believing that it's going to be reliable. They're not going to have to spend a lot of money on repairs and replacement. So it's come of age, I would say. I haven't plugged it in and used it yet, but um, I, I will follow up with that. But I wanted to discuss that technology and the inverter technology. If you're looking for a new microwave and you want the latest thing, what it's supposed to improve is, of course, by being able to set the power at a certain level and for a certain time, it's closer to real cooking. Um, somebody compared the way microwaves traditionally cook to uh, you want to cook a piece of meat in your oven, you set the oven for 700 degrees because you want you know 350 for 20 minutes. So you set the oven for 700 degrees, and you put the meat in there and you leave it for 10 minutes cooking at 700 degrees. Then you take it out and leave it on the counter with no heating at all for 10 minutes. And Anyway, that's been the, the problem with microwaves. That is not supposed to be an issue here. You can set it to heat things up slowly and um, it will apply a lower amount of power for a longer period of time and cook the food more thoroughly so you don't have the cold spots in the middle. The other features that uh, this has um, from Panasonic, they call it the Genius um, Sensor. And what it does is it lets you use one of those plastic uh, tray covers that you can put over foods in your microwave. Most people, I think, use them so that when the thing pops and splatter, you don't get the mess inside the walls of the microwave. But it, so long as it's vented, 
you can put that over your food, turn on the genius sensor, and what it does is it looks for steam. And when it sees steam filling up the chamber, then it can either lower the temperature or turn it off. It um, knows that you've reached the point that you want once this, it sees the steam. So that's its genius uh, sensor. It also has um, smart defrost. And they talk about the inverter turbo defrost feature, which you enter the weight on the number pad of the food, and um, it defrosts it at the varying temperatures to defrost it throughout. Um, if, it's a, if, it's, if you put in a weight that's over a certain size, it'll actually beep halfway through to tell you to flip the thing over. So again, it, it will be able to evenly distribute that heat. They also talk in here about their sensor reheat feature and the sensor cook feature. Again, where when they see steam, they know the food's at the point that you want it. So this is what it looks like inside. I've got the glass tray for it here. This is about the same as our old microwave, tiny bit bigger, this glass tray. And it um, is 1.6 cubic feet interior. They make this uh, same model, same technology, same uh, wattage in a 1.2 and also in a larger 2.2 cubic feet size. And uh, the price is, I don't know, 30, 30 to 40 more for the bigger one and 30 to 40 less for the smaller one. This one's right about 150, which was right what we wanted to pay. So I'm gonna plug it in out in the kitchen and start heating some things up and um, see how it works for that and check, check out its reliability. When I have some more information, I'll do a follow-up review and let you know how it's actually worked out. But in theory, this is the latest technology and it's supposedly much improved over traditional microwave. So if your microwave goes out, you might want to consider investing in one of these. I'll do a follow-up soon and let you know how it actually cooks.